Wonder Woman. Yes, today I'm attempting to make a Wonder Woman cake. Did I do a good job? I don't know. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to Koali Pops. My name is Patty Jenkins. Don't mind my son, you guys. He's just over here playing this game. I'm excited to go over this footage with you because it is probably one of the most stressful cakes I've ever created. So let's get started. Now to create this Wonder Woman cake, I'm starting with a 13 by nine inch rectangular cake. And I'm also using my skull cake. If you need a skull cake pan, there's links in the description box. To create this cake, I'm just cutting out my Wonder Woman shape. I'm just creating her hair and then I'm doing all of the cake basics. I really had an extremely hard time making this cake. I wanted to cry several times because I couldn't get Gal Gadot's face shape right. It was a tragedy. I tried so hard, you guys. I even had to make this cake twice because I wasn't happy with the first time. After I added all of the buttercream in between each cake layer, I'm adding cake ball dough to create all of Wonder Woman's soft tissue. So I filled in the eyes a little bit, gave her some cheeks, and I'm using more cake ball dough to sort of shape her hair. So that way I don't have to add too much fondant to create all of that volume. Oh, and I want to give her like a a stank face, you know, because she's angry. So I added some more cake ball dough to her brow line, and then I gave this baby a crumb coat. After that, it was time to create Wonder Woman's face with skin tone fondant. I just place it on top. This is. Oh my god, it sucked, you guys. <laughs> So I tried really hard. I was looking at the picture constantly to really try and recreate Gal Gadot's face. I gotta say I failed. <laughs> There's very small details that I got wrong. Like her nose is just a little too far down. Her mouth is a little too big as well as her eyes are a little too big. The thing that I did get right the first time around though is this headdress. Oh, I love the way this like, looks so nice. And I think that her hair looks really nice. It's just all of the details on her face. I should have addressed them first, made sure that they were perfect because after I worked on her face, I went on to her hair. Her face wasn't perfect and by the time I wanted to change it up, the fondant had hardened and it started to crack which means I had to just keep to all of the shapes I created and just try and fix it with some luster dust shading which, oh god, it didn't work. It didn't work at all. <laughs> I mean her eyes look alright but the rest of her face just looks tragic. Look at that. Oh my god, I don't know. Something about it didn't work. So after I finished creating this first version of Wonder Woman, I tried again. <laughs> Got myself to this point and then just started to paint. Now I did do a lot more work on her face shape. Now this cake isn't perfect. I don't know why I changed the hair. I don't like, I like the hair on the first version that I created. I think I screwed up on this hair because I used a lot more time to create Gal Gadot's face. I made sure that the nose was in the right place. With the first one, I kind of just guesstimated. With this one, I actually used rulers to proportion everything before I started to paint all of Gal Gadot's features. And I know it's not perfect. This doesn't look like Gal Gadot. But, you know, for somebody who isn't really good or used to sculpting cakes, I think it's okay. I still need a lot of work when it comes to sculpting cakes. Her cheekbones are nice. They could be a little bit more defined. I'm very happy with the eyes, the mouth. And the thing that I love the most about creating this cake was that I really challenged myself to create an actual person. Usually I shy away from this stuff because it's just too hard. In 2021, I think I'm going to be doing a lot more of these cakes so I can make a ton of mistakes, learn from them, and then start to create some really hyper-realistic cakes. So th now thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love that you showed my Ahsoka cake video. When I saw that Rosario Dawson added it to her story, I had like a mini panic attack. I was so happy that she saw it. Now I was working on the Ahsoka cake at the same time that I was working on the Wonder Woman cake. And I thought that the Ahsoka cake would be so much harder to create. Who knew that horns would be easier to create than velvety Pantene Pro V looking hair. The more that I look at the Wonder Woman cake, the more mistakes I see. But those are all the things that I'll try not to repeat when 
I'm making the next cake. I'm probably gonna repeat those mistakes. I think I'm doing Luke Skywalker or Darth Maul next. I know that I'll be doing Wanda and Vision sometime in January. I really wanted to do more comic book and Star Wars character. All the movies have been put off and nothing really comes out until later in 2021. So if you have ideas of characters you'd like to see now, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys are staying safe. Feliz Navidad. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you in the new year. I love you. Bye.